Good morning, everyone. I am Kolosi. I'm a pastor at Yasha Church Church. I'll be doing a church exhortation from the book of John, chapter 9. I'll be describing the miracle of Jesus Christ, the significance of the miracle that he wrought out on the eyes of the man that was born blind from birth. I'll take a reading from verse 6 of this chapter. He said, when he had thus spoken, Jesus Christ spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. Jesus healed to pass a message. He healed to, to give you an understanding. He said that as long as he is in the world, he is the light of the world. I can imagine that man blind from birth. He doesn't know what it looks like to see color blue. He doesn't know what it looks like to see the sun, sunshine. So, so, so many times we are, we are appalled by the beauty of this world. But you see, the light of the world that you need is in the face of Jesus Christ. And I tell you, when Jesus spoke to this man and spat, of, and spat on the ground and made clay of the same essence, the, the, the saliva of his words, the word that was in his mouth, that was going out of his mouth, he, 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 made, he, he made man from that same word. And he anointed, the Bible said he anointed. He didn't just plaster it, he anointed. He anointed for sight. So God wants to give us sight by his words. So I can imagine this man receiving anointing of the, the tongue. He was anointed with the tongue of Christ and he went in the hearing of that same voice. The voice that anointed him was the voice that instructed him, go, go, I hear the word, I, I hear go, go, go wash, go and wash, go and wash. That what God is telling every man that will draw near him, go and wash, go and wash. There was a man in the Old Testament that wanted to see the prophet. The prophet spoke from his bedroom. You are a gentle ruler. I will not come out to see you. Go and wash. Go and dip yourself seven times. God wants us to wash. He's calling us to Siloam. He's saying, go and wash in the pool of Siloam. Go and wash. I have anointed your eyes to see. But before you can see, you have to wash. So God is calling us to draw near, no doubt. But you see, the one that will ascend the heel of the, of the Lord is in the hearts, clean hands and a pure heart. So God is calling us higher. Come up either. But you see, the, the climb up the mountain, the climb, the ascension is not, is not in the human strength. It's God that makes you ready for ascension. Moses fasted not because he could have carried extra food. He fasted because he had to see God. So God wants us to wash before we can see him. So I imagine this man coming back later in the temple and he saw Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, do you believe on the Son of Man? He said, Lord, who is he that I may believe on him? He was ready to see the Messiah. And that's what happens when you wash. It's in the washing that you are prepared to see him. Man is not born ready for God. Man is on earth and prepared for God on earth. Your, your stay on planet earth is to prepare you to see God. So I believe that in the fullness of time, we have more of this encounters where we just share and you know Siloam is coming up very soon why not just come to the river and wash again you know, I wash twice now this is the third time I'm washing I await perfection see you at Siloam I love you